Hi, welcome to an NX12 video tutorial. I call this exercise Turbo Snail because it looks like a turbo snail. And please note, you can do this, of course, with 2D sketches as well, apart from the snail curve. Anyway, let's have fun with Siemens NX. So I need a spiral. In order to get a spiral, I want to use a helix. And I have to use a helix. Type, it should go along a vector, that would be okay. I want to start at an angle of zero. I want to use a diameter size. And it should increase or decrease linear. And it should start with 235 and should go up to 235 plus 46 millimeter. The pitch should be constant, but it should be zero. I need a 2D curve. Of course, if you want to get a different snail or spiral or helix, you can use, of course, here a pitch. But I want to go for zero. And I want not a complete turn, but 7 eighths of a turn. 7 divided by 8. And it should go right now left hand. If I go for right hand, let's take a look. Yeah, I go for right hand. And confirm. Next, I want to create a circle with a radius of 25, normal to that curve here in that point. So go for an arc or circle. Let's go for a full circle. And I want to use arc circle from center, yes. The point would be the end point here, so make sure you get an end point. Go for end point. Like this, confirm. And I want it not through point, but I want to go for a radius. So select radius, make it 25. And then I need a plane. And that plane, select plane, should be one normal to that curve. So go for plane, construction, and go for on curve. The curve would be this one. And it should be at zero arc length. That would be the start of that curve in this case. And it should be normal to the path. Orientation of that one doesn't matter. Confirm. And confirm again. Now I want to use a swept. So go for surface swept. I want to use this curve. A section and that one as guide. Now section location end of guides yes alignment arc length yes orientation fixed so the profile stays always at the same angle to that path and I want to use a parameter law and the value would be a formula and that would be 50 times 2 not 50 times, but 25, sorry, 25 times 2 times pi, which is the number pi. And this one should be nine times two times pi. And I want it to be a sheet and confirm. Let's hide the arc and proceed. Next I want to trim that surface, therefore I will need two planes. So let's go to datum plane, go for an offset plane, not on curve but at distance and it should have a distance to this one in that direction maybe six millimeter, apply, and another one in the opposite direction, 
again with 6, so it would be minus 6, or let's just reverse that offset. Now I want to trim, so go to Surface, Trim Sheet, I want to trim this sheet here, and I want to use those two planes as boundary, this one and that one. And I want to discard this part here, and I want to keep the other ones. So what to select to keep? If I go for a preview, it will look like this. So I want to keep not only this one, but also that. Let's see if we can select it, this part here. So go there, select this here, and that one here. So it will just remove that inner band. And confirm. Quite nice. It's a really, really nice trim tool in Siemens NX. Okay, now let's close that gap here. I need two lines. Let's go for a line. And I want to use this vertex. So let's go for endpoint. Just make sure it works. Go for an endpoint. Go here. That would be give me that endpoint. Okay. And for another endpoint. Just to make sure this endpoint there and that one and confirm. Apply and the same on the other side. Go again for an endpoint. This one. Okay. And the second endpoint. here and confirm and confirm and now I can do a swept with two profiles and two guides. So let's switch to surface, go for swept, select one line, add the second line, direction is the same, that's good, and now go for this edge here and add the second edge like this should be of course a sheet and it is a sheet and confirm nice I can hide those planes of course okay Let's hide for a moment that surface. I want to create an arc which is tangent to this curve here and goes in that direction. So let's go for curve, arc circle. This time it's not a full circle. The plane I want to use would be the XY plane in my case. So Seems I can't select it here, that's interesting. So let's go for C set. No, not C set. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, it's C set. Yep. And not arc circle from center. Three point arc. And I want to start at this point, so you can go for, of course, an end point. Like this, just to make sure. Confirm. And I want to go for some sort of tangency here. So let's go here and go for tangent and select the tangent object that would be this one. And I don't want this in that direction, I need it in the other direction. So how to get to this one, the radius, see, and I want to have a radius of, let's go for 
90 maybe 110 that should do and okay so that's interesting it turned around how did this happen let's go for the complementary one and let's change that endpoint somehow the radius would be okay but i don't need the complete arc here so that's too much so how to reduce that i can go for limits so let's do that would be the end and that let's start and to go for let's say 50 degrees that's more like it or even 60 degrees like this and confirm now I need a circle here or I could do without a circle I could do just again with no I want to use uh, through curves therefore I need a circle so let's go for another circle this time a full circle and arc circle from center yes the point would be again an end point that would be this end point here confirm and I want to have a radius let's go for 30 and the plane would be one which is normal to that curve so go for on curve again select the curve here and again this would be zero from the length normal to path and confirm and confirm let's compare this circle to our surface which should be this trim sheet yeah it could go for a bigger one maybe 35 yeah that would be okay now let's hide those lines and in order to go for a really good through curves surface i need two points here on that circle which sort of correlate to those two points here so i want to do two through curve surfaces one for this profile here and one for this one so i need two points on that circle or i could do it with the sketch of course i want to try it with uh, with points so let's go for points on curve which is here let's select that one and if i go for zero let's see where this puts so I think that's one of the quadrants at least it seems to be one so I can make one with a distance an arc length or parameter length so I want to go for curve length and so that would be 360 so let's go for let's try 5% that might be too much so let's go for three percent or four let's go for four percent that should be okay and apply and then another one go for zero again and now in the other direction again four percent or even maybe five let's go for five and okay and edit the first one and go for five as well and confirm 
and now you should be able to do those two through curves surfaces. Okay, let's start with the small one here. So go to surface, go to through curves. And the first curve would be this edge here, that one. So it should be single curve, yes. Then add, you see, stop at intersection. So it should take just that small part. Not really. Seems I need some sort of line to intercept that. So that's not an intersection. That's kind of sad. I could trim, of course. If I go for curve and go for a trim, or I could trim curve. I could trim this curve with those two points. This one and that one. And let's see what will happen. Go for apply. Okay, I got this one. And let's bring it back. I don't want operation trim, divide. Let's go for divide. And with the same two, it should be divided. So now I should have two parts. No. Yeah, that's one arc and that's the other one. And now I could do this. So let's go back to surface, go to through curves. Let's see. I can select this one here. There is no tangency for the start. But I want to have tangency for the second one. So add that edge here. And go for tangency to this one. Which gives me this surface here. So that would be OK. Yeah and confirm. And now I can do a through curve smash. So let's go over there, through curve smash. And let's see what we use as primary as secondary. Let's go for this edge here that part of that circle here and the cross curve would be this edge and that edge here make sure those arrows point in the same direction and I want to have tangency here so for the first primary, I want to have tangency that would be here. Second one, I have no tangency. It should give me this surface. And it would be nice to have tangency here as well, but that's not possible. That will not work. If you choose this, see, that will not work. That's not possible. So you have some small edge here, but that's okay. And not a solid, but a sheet and confirm. Quite nice. Now I want to close this and I want to have a little gap because if I go all along to this edge, it might cause problems if those two surfaces uh, intersect. So I could use 
through curves or I can use a bridge surface which allows me to control the magnitude of the tangency. So maybe hide that surface here and hide those as well. So now I can do a bridge surface here if I want or I could th go through curves. Let's use a bridge surface. That would be the first edge and the second edge would be this one. And now you can control with those handles here the magnitude so it bends more like this or like that. In any case Let's go for 1 here, or 0 0.99, and yeah, doesn't really matter. I don't want to change these, so let's confirm. And this should be a single surface, yes it is. Now, if I do my through curve smash here. Maybe it could collide here with the other surface. So I want to trim that surface. And therefore I will use a plane and an angle, which gives me control. So I need a plane with an angle. Go home, go datum plane, add angle. Reference would be maybe this one and that axis here. So it should be on the other side. Let's move it over here, maybe. I had 7, 8. That would be 25 degrees. So let's go for 20 degrees. That would be 200. If I go in that direction or if I turn it around. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so let's go for 20 degrees because that was about 25 degrees. No, it was 20 degrees. Let's let's take a look. If I divide 360 by 8, I got 40. So that's 20. So let's go for maybe 15, 15. Let's go for 15. Like that. Okay. And now I can trim that surface. Let's see, or could I go for more? Yeah, I could go for more. 15 is not enough. So maybe let's go for 25 or even 30. Let's take a look and trim. We will see. Surface trim sheet. I want to trim this here with that tool. Yeah, I could change it a little bit even. Let's go here and change the datum plane maybe to 35. Yeah, maybe like this. Now let's bring back those surfaces. Let's go here not there but sorry go to show and bring back this one this one and that one and now I want to do a through curve smash so through curve mesh it should start with this edge here it should go to that edge here. Direction is okay. And cross curve would be this one here and that one here. And I want to have tangency. First to this surface and then of course to that surface itself. Let's see if we can do it like this. Otherwise I would have to add here 
something. Let's go for loss primary and go for tangency and try to use this as tangency. Is that possible? Yeah, looks good. And confirm. So now I could control with my plane. I could go more in that direction. So let's go for our datum plane and go for 40. Confirm. Uh, I could even go a little bit more. So let's hide this surface. So if you want to close that gap, you can go up to this line. Maybe that would be not a wise decision, but you could do it. And I'm done. Hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to get more likes and subscriptions here and on Facebook as well. And thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.